Hi guys, today let's see what it takes to sous vide an entire whole chicken. There isn't much material you can find on sous vide a whole chicken. Sure, there are videos on sous vide chicken parts or at best spatchcock style, but not much, if any, on cooking the chicken whole. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and make that video. We'll be working with this medium sized chicken. Definitely not a Cornish hen, nor an Andok Super Jumbo. This medium sized one will just be enough to try it out. Starting off with lots and lots of garlic. I work with 8 to 10 cloves to stuff the chicken and let it aromatize from the inside. If garlic isn't your cup of tea, feel free to work with less. Once this chicken is stuffed enough to fend off vampires, I mix in some rosemary and season with salt aggressively. I'd rather work with fresh rosemary, but it's been hard to find lately so these dried ones will do. With flavor set on the inside, I use this Montreal steak rub from McCormick Grillmates. This gives it that peppery Kenny Rogers look. But between us, that finish wasn't as pronounced as it would have been in my original turbo broiled method. I guess that's something we'll adjust in the future. Nothing left to do now but to place the chicken into our resealable sous vide bags. With our hand pump, again, pump like there's no tomorrow until we get some good, tight visibility on the chicken through the plastic. We're setting the sous vide machine at a much higher temperature versus our steak last time. We're setting it at 70 degrees Celsius for 3 hours and 15 minutes. Actually, I ended up cooking the chicken for another 30 minutes because I wasn't feeling right about the initial cooking time. So if you're following this recipe, I'd recommend doing the cook for 4 hours just to be sure. Getting a good browning from torching took about 10 minutes for the whole chicken. It's a bit tricky since chicken skin is pretty fatty and tends to burn easily. If you want it cooked with a flame grilled finish, this would be your move. This flame chicken is taking you back to the beach. But if you want crispy skin with even browning, I suggest you put it in the oven for a few minutes. A combo of sous vide and baking would make it more like your traditional roast. Hey guys, so let's test out if this chicken is any good. So it's a sous vide flame torch chicken. I'm getting the thigh and leg part. So the chicken looks very tender, evenly cooked as it should be for sous vide. And see what it tastes. Mm. So I wanted to test out the thigh because I wanted to see if sous vide can be able to cook the extremities which is um, a little harder to cook I guess um, if it was undercooked this is where some pink color would be showing and it looks like it's um, it's quite good very juicy because of the flame torch it's closer like, to a grilled chicken rather than an oven roasted chicken um, but the big difference is it's a juicy grilled chicken so uh, unlike charcoal grilled chicken, it's usually very dry. This is very juicy. Let's get some of that juices. Cheers, guys. Can you sous vide a whole chicken? So definitely yes. This experiment shows that you can sous vide an entire whole chicken. You just gotta take a few more hours to do it. Again, we did this almost four hours. It's a bit longer. Is it worthwhile? I think yes, it's a it's a change up from your turbo chicken from your oven chicken which tends to dry out the chicken and I think uh, I think this is something that we can definitely serve this coming Christmas. Mm. I'm I'm pretty happy. Anyway, if you like this video please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you next time guys.